every weekend my husband goes hunting with his best friend, but he comes home with nothing. So I start to get a little suspicious, and I decide to take his crossbow, the arrows that go with it, and hide them under his seat to see if he calls me and says, hey babe, where, where'd you put them? Did you touch them? Did I leave them home? Well, he comes home, doesn't mention anything about the crossbows, doesn't mention anything about the arrows that I hid, and he comes home with nothing once again. So now I'm super suspicious of what's going on. I'm thinking, something's not adding up. So I decide to take our kids the next time he goes hunting and drop them off at my mom's house. I don't want to alert anyone because I don't really know what's going on yet. I leave them there with her. They're good. And I decide to also put an air tag in his truck so I can follow him. Well, turns out when I look at where the air tag is, the location where he says he's going to be is not there. He's 200 miles in the wrong direction. And I come to find out it's a motel. So now I'm... Before I black out or go crazy or do something I'll regret, I decide to follow up. So I go to this motel, and when I pull up, the first thing I see is his best friend's wife's car. And I'm thinking the worst, because his best friend's wife, gorgeous. She's the prettiest girl you've ever seen. Maybe 5'4", 110 pounds, gorgeous body, beautiful face, Shakira-like hair, just something that walks out of a magazine. And while I'm in my thoughts thinking the worst, I feel a hand on my shoulder.